I'm Chris, Big Bear McNaughton, uh, International Strongman Competitor from Ireland. Bear for me started whenever I, um, whenever I was born, whenever I was a young kid, my dad always called me the cub. Um, and then whenever I sort of became older, um, when I was playing a lot of rugby, I was called Bear. And then when I started Strongman, I went on then to be called Big Bear. It was only later on um, in, in, in my teens and that there that I realised that there was um, a whole different side to being called a bear. It was actually um, a, a guy came over, strongman came over from England to Ireland, um, and I was running a, a club called the Big Bear Powerlifting Club at the time. Um, and he says, uh, he just said, I wasn't sure, you know, if if um, he just were sort of like gay followers or what was going on, and I was a wee bit confused as to what he meant. But then, whenever he explained, um, you know, that there was uh, the bear was the thing when LGBT, I was like, oh. <laughs> Wasn't aware of that there. <laughs> so, bear in mind, at the time um, I was engaged to a girl, I nobody knew um, anything about my sexuality. So it was very much so in the sort of closet, if you like. Um, so it was a wee bit of a gulp moment, as in, oh, um, I did look into it. Like I remember like researching it and all, and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely a bear. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. It was definitely finding myself in Strongman that gave me the confidence to come out. Like if I was to think back before I started Strongman and the guy I was then, would he have ever have came out? Um, probably not. You know, I, I couldn't imagine um, me ever coming out back then. The next competition I went to, everybody talked to me. And some people, to be honest, I, I thought wouldn't. You know, everybody shook my hand the way everybody normally does. Everybody asked how I was, everybody talked normally. Um, everybody introduced themselves to my partner. This is the most masculine support with the most masculine people. And they can all stand around and not batter an eyelid. But go into other sports where there's less masculinity, if you like, and for some reason it's, it's a big deal. And I think that has to do with a lot of insecurity in, in other people because there is no insecurity in strongman. Um, these men are, are the biggest men in the world and the strongest men in the world. There's nothing to be insecure about. And, um, they don't care. They just, as many of them have said, you know, Chris is our mate, and as long as Chris is happy, we're happy.